Welcome to Luxon Photography, my name is Janis Dirksen and today I have a story for you. A story not about me, but about somebody else. You know, I photograph people on the streets and when I do it for free I film it and show these videos here on this YouTube channel. And with the time I've created a workshop where you can learn how you can do that too. And to put it a step further, you can go out on the streets with me and learn one by one in the field, in real life, outside, how to do it. And we did this in January with Peter who came from England to Hamburg for one day to learn the street photography that I do on the streets and he photographed over 10 shootings in under 4 hours or in about 4 hours. In January it was cold and he did it in, a, in another language so it was English and not German and we did it in Germany. Then in February I met Victor who also was too shy or quiet to do this but he wanted to do it and so I helped him and he made also 10 shootings I think in 3 hours. And he did some crazy stuff like photographing 14 girls all together, one big group and he had the courage to try. Because he had the courage to try he deserved to succeed. And now in March I met Daniel and Daniel went from Bremerhaven where he lives to Bremen where I live and we did it here in my hometown and he also told me he wanted to learn it, he tried it a couple of times and it worked a couple of times but he wanted to level up his game and so he also did in four hours ten shootings, ten photo shoots. And let me, let me show you some images that I took from the site and some stories to it. Now he talked to many people on the streets, many also said no. Um, it's, it's always, you know, I always show images when I talk to people on the streets. And the images that I show, they have to, the people have to like these images. They have to see the images and think, I want to look like this as well. And I thought, Daniel had some nice images on his phone, but not the best. So people might have thought these images don't impress me, so I'm saying no to your photo shoot. But he got 10 shootings without, we, without any pause. So we started at 12 and we did it until 4, so 12 midday, 4 p.m. And he did 10 photo shoots. And let me tell you some stories. For example, we were standing in the tram, there was a tram station where the trams come and you see on the display it says you know, the next tram comes in two minutes and then it says I think three minutes and then he went to a girl who was standing there and we both knew she was waiting for the tram that was just to arrive and he talked to her and he did a photo shoot within two minutes and then the tram arrived she went in and was gone and another shooting that was interesting he talked to a girl that was sitting in the cafe outside and while he was talking and doing his thing, another girl came and sat down. And he was standing there thinking, uh, okay, what am I going to do now? And he managed to get them both to a photo shoot and I think the images turned out really nice. Now, I, I don't have his images, I only have the images that I took from the site. I was the strange guy, the weirdo, standing somewhere with a, another camera, photo shooting the photo shoot. So, he did approach everyone by himself. He did talk to the people all by himself. I did nothing. And the reason is, I want to influence and interact as little as possible. So when I'm gone, at the end of the day, if he wants to do it the next day, again, alone, it's better for him on that day that he does it alone. If I help him to talk to people, he might not do it when he's alone. So the, the goal for me is to actually do nothing at all but be present and to give a focus on okay I'm here now with you. The focus is you photograph people on the streets and I'm standing somewhere where they don't see me. Just so you know Dirk Song is in the background and if I have problems he will help but the goal is that I don't do nothing because if I interact too much the next day when you're alone you cannot do it because you need my help. And so here are the images. I will just show you some of these images that I that I took over the four hours. And what I want to show you with this is that no matter 
where we did it in Hamburg now with Peter, in Hanover with Victor, and in Bremen with Daniel. No matter the, the camera equipment, Peter had the X-T3 with the 56mm 1.2, very great camera equipment. Uh, Victor had a Canon 700 or 80D or 70-70 d with the 35mm 2.0, also great combination. Daniel had the Canon 5D Mark I, the old one, with the 50mm 1.8 lens, also great combination. I looked at, at his camera after the photo shoots. I said to him, show me your camera, just so I see how you set up the camera, if it's uh, how the images look like, and they look really beautiful. Now, all the images you see here are my images that I took from the side of the photo shoot. So, I don't have his images, but just from what I took, you see a little bit how the photo shoots turned out. And all these three people, Peter, Victor and Daniel, are very different from me. You might see me doing these photo shoots and think, oh, he can do it, it's easy for him. Look at him. And I do these videos to show you that it doesn't matter how you look. It also doesn't matter what equipment you have. You can have the 85 1.2 or the 50 1.8. The price difference is this costs 18 times the money this costs. This costs 100, this costs 1,800. 100, 1,800. The lens and this is totally fine I made more money with this lens on the streets than with all other lenses combined because it's light it's great quality got a really nice focal length 50 millimeter and so this is actually all I need if I do this on a regular basis I don't need the heavy 85 okay we just walked around we did it in the in the city center but we also went to another area a little bit off the center but all you need for success is people especially in photography if you photograph people all you need is people so where are people people are everywhere now the thing is success is the result when opportunity meets difficulty now opportunity is every person is an opportunity for a photo shoot I now have a child you see it here let me show you so I don't have a child. Whenever I see somebody with a kid, for me that's an opportunity to photograph them, to give them an image like this. So whenever I have a camera with me, I talk to the mothers, the fathers, the couples with kids, and I do photo shoots. I always have a gallery on my phone with images with my kid. So that is, I see an opportunity, there's a a mother with her kid, maybe the age of my kid as well. And I know images will turn out beautiful. She puts them up on his arm, just like this. This can be anywhere, it doesn't really matter where it is. And there's the opportunity. The difficulty will be to get her to ask me for a photo shoot, that she calls me. And she doesn't know me, she doesn't call me, so I have to talk to her, so she gets to know me. I have to present her some images. I have to act in a positive way, so she trusts me. Eye contact, quiet, talk slowly, that I build up trust. And then after a minute of talking, we do a photo shoot, she gets beautiful images with her kid, and they pay me afterwards. And. That is how success is created. Opportunity meets difficulty. The opportunity is everyone can be a client in photography. The difficulty is how will they get to me? And for me, the best way is to actually go out on the streets or to enter a shop, say, hi, I'm a photographer. Here are my images. We can do it right now in three minutes. And that's what these three guys did. Peter from England, Victor from Hannover, and Daniel here in Bremen. They are all different from me. They have different equipment. They don't do photography as their main job, and at least not until now. And they all managed to get 10 photo shoots in no matter what condition. And with this video, I want to show you that you can do that too. Thank you very much. <laughs>